Teammates, Wrestling Hero Fags, we're going to be looking at Elite Series 104. It has been announced, and we have to see as to what Mattel is going to be bringing here in the upcoming months. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it, and drop a like if you are stopping by for the first time, or if you're part of the WHF family, you already know, man. You ought to be dropping a like, go in the comments, and let me know what you guys think, because we brought Rick Steiner, Drew McIntyre, AJ Styles, Braun Baker, Oos, yes, that's right. We are adding to the Oos fam. We got Solo Sika, and then we got EO Sky, which is, you know what, NXT? Sure, call it up, but let's see what we could potentially see within the actual figure in and of itself. Now, check this out. Family, that's what it's all about, right? You gather up the whole squad. Now, unfortunately, we have lost some, right? Couple of days, not very good. Elimination Chamber did have some mishaps, but that's all good, though, because now that we we can finally round up right having him alongside big dog i think one more ooze it's gotta happen you guys plus we got those unanswered questions that we need to see and if you guys don't know you guys ought to be checking this guy out eminem fryer huge shout out to my brother he's always piecing these things together which you know i think it's perfect timing to talk about wrestlemania season and that's what we're gonna also get into you guys i want to give you some of my thoughts as far as what we could see right here with up coming elites as well as of course ultimate editions now as you guys know yes there's a legends deal there is something to aew happening right now which unfortunately brian danielson could not partake in this but if they did this would be insane right i mean after all how many damn ranks have we got so you throw that in alongside an entrance stage plus your boy of course keep in mind randy orton we haven't seen him in this lineup so i do think that would definitely do one up within it batista already confirmed he already got wwe deal but it's brian danielson the man with all the damn heat that we cannot get unfortunately but still you guys this is a thing of beauty because think about it yes we did get it in a regular elite but keep in mind as far as the actual design of the boots it was nowhere near accurate as far as to what it actually was now getting further into this you guys know that the assassin triple h and the beast brock lesnar they have had some outstanding bouts right we've seen some two packs recently now we need to talk about the ultimate edition lineup also joining that family and i'll tell you what you guys i do think that an updated triple h with the shorter hair theme in the ue series that's something i definitely love to see plus beast you can never go wrong with the beast barack lesnar now getting further in Got to go back to the classic days, you guys. One of the first ladder matches in WWE history. This would be cool. Now, I really like that Eminem Fire actually did add a little some extra. And also, ideally, right? Because think about it. We've already seen a lot of the same reuse, you know, whether it's a wrestling ring or similar accessories i think the surrounding of the apron would be really nice plus Shawn michaels in a white gear without a shadow of a doubt be a nice little plus within the classic theme now getting into some ultimate editions do you think that austin theory is highly due Eminem Fryer brought a great representation right there with the United States Championship, you guys. Definitely drop a like if you guys think that this man is piecing together some beautiful things. And you know what, Mattel? Here's the other thing, too. If this doesn't occur within the next two years, I feel like you guys need to be talking to this man. Because as far as deliverance, oh yeah, that is right, you guys. Official images are landing right here for the upcoming two-pack of Rick Root and Jake the Snake. But the thing that's standing to me is like, as far as a highlight, I gotta say that updated torso, you guys. Check this out. This thing looks gorgeous, man. You're getting a whole new ripped torso, which we actually have not seen in the UE series. So you guys already know them custom fins, fix ski upsies. We gotta get multiples of these, because without a doubt, we're gonna have to use them. Now, right here for Jake the Snake, it's actually looking identical to the upcoming uh, Kevin Ash, or sorry, Scott Hall, also known as your boy right there, Riser Ramon. Only difference, it looks like that the piece it seems to have a little bit less hair getting into some aew you guys that's right we are talking about unmatched series nine moxley yuda hater reynolds kester danielson and captain Inzano. now Inzano, this is insane <laughs> we don't ever think that water boy would have made a perfect recreation of the very first paul white figure in aew 
Pretty exciting to see as to how they will deliver this man in figure format. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of Elite Series 104. Let me know what you guys think as far as what figures should we get in the upcoming WrestleMania Elites. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>